Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Lisa Stegall. And I'm Kara Gwynn. This is the first edition of SAU Magazine for the Spring 2000 semester. SAU Magazine now airs on 20 radio stations in five states, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and Mississippi. An audio webcast of SAU Magazine can be heard on the internet. SAU, U of A at Monticello, and U of A at Pine Bluff have been awarded a grant from the Walton Family Foundation of Bentonville to fund scholarships for African American students majoring in teacher education. The grant provides $3.3 million to the three universities and will be used to fund scholarships for deserving African American students. The Walton scholarships cover tuition, fees, room, board, and books for a maximum of four years. Students involved in theater at SAU recently participated in the American College Theater Festival with two SAU students winning awards. Eric Griffiths, a junior theater major from Camden, and Tanya Andrews, a junior theater major from Magnolia, each received Irene Ryan Acting Excellence Awards during the festival. They will go on to perform in regional competition later this month. In addition to performing plays, students can attend workshops and classes in several different areas of theater. The School of Business has enjoyed a significant increase in the number of students enrolled in business classes. It has seen an increase of 19.4% in student credit hours from last year. There has also been an increase in the number of students who have chosen to major in business, with that total now up to 505 students. Dr. David Rankin, Dean of the School of Business, believes the school's reputation has led to the increased enrollment this year. Lynn Roberts, who is the Secondary Mathematics Instructional Specialist at SAU and a former classroom teacher at Emerson, received the Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science from the National Science Foundation. Roberts is now in contention for the National Science Foundation's National Award. This is the second consecutive year for Roberts to receive a state teaching award. In 1998, the Arkansas Council of Teachers of Mathematics named Roberts the Outstanding Math Teacher of the Year. This past summer, 35 area teachers spent their time going to the sun to explore lava tubes, witness a buffalo jump, and take a power boat ride up the Snake River to visit a gold mine. This trip was part of the Out West program sponsored by SAU and the South Central Service Co-op in Camden. Teachers participating in the program used laptop computers and digital cameras. They earned three hours of graduate credit for the course. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Kara Gwynn. And I'm Lisa Stegall. With an SAU profile, I'm Jonathan Wood. The Baptist Student Union on the SAU campus is an organization in which many students can find an outlet for their busy college schedules. Like any organization, the BSU also has fundraisers to support their upcoming activities. The next event is going to be the Dream Date Auction on February the 29th at 7 p.m. Matt Norton, Missions Director at the BSU, thinks that this event will be a big hit because it will be very funny and entertaining. 10 to 15 guys will write up their ideas of a dream date. At the auction, the dates will be read and girls can bid on the date, not the guy. The girl bidding the highest will get the date. There will be a 50 cent admission. All proceeds will go towards the spring break mission trip to Reynosa, Mexico. The BSU needs guys to volunteer to be in the auction. Girls, come on February the 29th at 7 p.m. with money ready to buy your dream date. Girls will have two weeks to pay their bid amount. With an SAU profile, I'm Jonathan Wood. SAU Sports, I'm Braden Harmon. And I'm Christy Roden. Coach Dan Veach and his women's and men's 2000 track team are gearing up for another possible record-breaking season. Veach felt confident at an early February practice that Alan Reyes and Jason Carroll could both break the 10,000 meter and 5,000 meter record. The women's quarter-mile relay team was also touted by Veach to do good things this year. SAU's first meet will be at the University of Louisiana at Monroe on March 7th. 
the Mule Riders ended a four-game losing streak with a 77-72 come-from-behind victory over Christian Brothers last Tuesday. Archie Beacon and Ken Johnson scored 13 points apiece for the Mule Riders, and Jeff Baker grabbed a team-high eight rebounds. The win was SAU's first since defeating UA Monticello 75-73 on January 13th. On Sunday night, Henderson State went on a 14-0 run in the final four minutes of the game to defeat the Mule Riders 68-54. The Ryder Reds got 20 points from Paula Daniels and 17 from Siobhan Ford to defeat Mississippi University for Women 79-74. SAU's Sasha King and Keisha Humphrey added 12 points apiece for the Ryder Reds. All of Humphrey's points came off of four three-pointers. The Ryder Reds will host Delta State University Saturday at 6 p.m. at the W.T. Watson Athletic Center. The Ryder Reds overcame a 35-32 halftime deficit to defeat Christian Brothers University by a score of 68-60 last Tuesday night at the W.T. Watson Athletic Center. Mia Biley led the Ryder Reds with 23 points and 11 boards. The win gave SAU a 3-3 conference record and a 5-13 record overall in Gulf South Conference play. Earlier in the week, the Riderettes shot 55% from the field in an 85-67 romp over Henderson State University. SAU Sports, I'm Christy Roden. And I'm Braden Harmon. With commentary, I'm Michael Long. And I'm Thomas Murphy. This week's commentary will focus on the Counseling and Advising Center. The advisors in this center are hired to help lead students throughout their degree plans. But it seems as of late, some counselors were not advised on how to do their jobs properly. There were three incidents during the fall semester and two during the spring semester of students being placed in classes in which they did not need, could not take, or already had credit for. The university needs to provide better training for their counselors so they will not make the same mistakes again, as these mistakes can hurt students later in their degree plans. We understand that the counselors have many responsibilities to perform and many students to advise. However, students deserve input that will set them on the proper course for their respective professional careers. I'm Michael Long. And I'm Thomas Murphy with Commentary. With an SAU police log, I'm Nikita Martin. And I'm Daniel Green. On January 30th, Nathan Norris reported that his truck had been vandalized over the weekend. When Officer Tim Thornton viewed the truck, he saw the front windshield had been crushed on the passenger side. The passenger side window had been broken out, and the rear window had also been broken out. Norris stated the last time he had checked the vehicle was at 3.30 a.m. on January 28th, and he noticed the damage at 3.30 p.m. on January 30th. The vehicle had remained parked due to a winter storm in the area. Norris didn't know of anyone who would have a reason to target his vehicle. There are no suspects at this time. On January 30th, Monica Alm reported to Thornton that some of her clothes had been stolen. Alm, who had taken her clothes to the third floor laundry room in Harrod Hall, left them in the dryer at 11 p.m. on January 29th. She returned for the clothes at 12 a.m. January 30th and noticed someone had put them on the counter. When she looked through the clothes, she noticed the following items were missing. A pair of Levi's jeans, size 36-32, a sweater, which was green on top with orange and white stripes and blue on the bottom, and a pair of black cotton drawstring pants. Estimated value of the items is $65. There are no suspects at this time. On January 10th, Tamara Iverson reported the theft and unauthorized use of her Sprint calling card. She discovered this upon receiving a bill with 44 unauthorized calls. Investigation continues. Also on January 10th, Robin Hurd reported the theft of her cordless phone, answering machine, and clothing from 323 Herod Hall. Hurd stated this happened during Christmas break between December 12th and January 10th. Investigation continues. Between December 13th and 15th, Bradley Johnson reported that an unknown person or persons broke into his truck in the Green Hall parking lot. A Pioneer CD player and radar detector were taken. Entry was gained through the passenger door by popping the lock, possibly with a screwdriver. There are no known witnesses or suspects. With an SAU police log, I'm Nikita Martin. And I'm Daniel Green. I'm Heather Halter. And I'm Jeff Grissom. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. Farm Credit Service is holding campus interviews. The positions available are summer interns and loan officer trainees. Agri-business majors with a minimum GPA of 3.0 or better may apply. To schedule an interview, contact the Employment Resource Center at 235-4097. Amfuel of Magnolia has a part-time position as newsletter editor available. 
a journalism major is preferred. There will be a 20 hour a month work period at $6.50 per hour. To make an appointment, please contact Lisa Crank at 235-7280. The following supplemental instruction positions are available to SAU students only. Fine Art Art under Professor Alexis or General Botany under Professor Johnson. To apply, contact Stephanie Bennett in Graham Hall, room 110. I'm Heather Halter. And I'm Jeff Grissom. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With Entertainment News, I am Mark Machiro. And I'm David Parkerson. An art exhibition of works by AIE artist Karen Emmett is now being shown in the Rosemary Reed Regional Arts and Education Gallery on the first floor of McGill Library. This exhibition is made up of works that show interest in cloth and patterns, which are represented in a variety of mediums. The SAU Theater Department will present The Apple Tree, a musical composed of two short one-act plays. The combined plays are The Diary of Adam and Eve, which was penned by Mark Twain, and Passionella, an offbeat Cinderella story written by Jules Pfeiffer. The play will run Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, February 29th through March 2nd. The play will begin at 7.30 p.m. The cost of admission is $1 for students, faculty, and staff, and $3 for general admission. On Wednesday, 16th of February, in celebration of Valentine's Day, there will be a Love Jones at the Bruce Center. Love Jones is a reading of poems written and read by various people. This particular session of Love Jones will be performed by SAU students. The readings begin at 7 p.m. For more information, contact Lydia Stewart, the Director of Multicultural Services at SAU. World-renowned journalist George Plimpton will be the guest speaker at the Emerson Thomas Crone Lectureship in the Humanities at SAU. Plimpton will lecture on his illustrious career as a sports journalist, writing numerous articles for Sports Illustrated. He has written over 20 books, including Out of My League and Paper Lion. Plimpton has even photographed centerfolds for Playboy magazine. He has appeared in various films and television specials. The lecture is to be held in Harton Theater at 7.30 p.m. on Monday, February 21st. Admission is free and open to the public. With Entertainment News, I'm David Parkerson. And I'm Mark Machiro. SAU broadcast journalism students produce informative television programs for viewers in southwest Arkansas. The SAU report features interviews with faculty, staff, students, and alumni. It is seen each week in Magnolia on TCA Cable Channel 13. Camden residents can see the SAU report each morning on Cable Channel 16. Tens of thousands of cable television households in southwest Arkansas watch the program on KTSS-TV Channel 55 in Hope. The SAU report not only serves as a learning tool for broadcast journalism students, but serves to inform the region about institutional events and personalities. Some editions of SAU Magazine feature audio segments from these television programs. Be sure and watch the SAU report on your local cable television service. Informative viewing, provocative subject matter. The SAU Report. For this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Angela Bradford. And I'm Dana Thomas. Monday, February the 14th is Valentine's Day. At 4 p.m., the SGA will have a traffic appeals court. Tuesday, Kai Apple will sponsor a free lunch. There will be a softball game at 1 p.m. There will also be a baseball game at 2 p.m. At 7 p.m., BSU will sponsor a Valentine's party. The Educators Group, Phi Delta Kappa, will have a meeting February 15th at 6 p.m. Anna Graham will open her home for the meeting, located at 515 West University. A meal will be served, followed by a program on Smart Start Update by a panel of educators from Southwest Arkansas. Wednesday will be the last day to get a 20% tuition refund. Thursday at 7 p.m., join Chi Alpha with praise and worship. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.